Command Center Super Bowl is presented by Safeway, the official supermarket of the Washington Commanders. And welcome on in. Julie Donaldson here outside of State Farm Stadium, where later today we will see the Kansas City Chiefs take on the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl 57. Now, the significant game will also have some Super Bowl history as well, as for the first time in the Super Bowl era. It will feature two black quarterbacks going against each other, and both are really good at the game. So here's a look at the two signal callers. Patrick Mahomes, even dealing with a couple of injuries, once again put up some big numbers this season. And on the other side, Jalen Hurts also dealt with injuries this year, but still at the Eagles to the top seed in the NFC. Now, whoever wins this Super Bowl will be the fourth black quarterback to win a Super Bowl. The first black quarterback to win, of course, is our very own Doug Williams, the MVP of Super Bowl 22, capping off the 1987 season. The Grambling Gun connected on 18 of 29 passes for 340 yards and four touchdowns in the 42 to 10 win over the Denver Broncos. The second Super Bowl title for coach Joe Gibbs, who would go on to win another, of course, in 1991. The legendary Doug Williams here with us. Uh, Doug, we call you a legend for many reasons. One, just because of the person that you are, but also because you were the first black quarterback to win an NFL uh, Super Bowl team. Now you're reliving all of that. What has it been like working here at the Super Bowl, reliving that moment? Well, you know what, I, I do get an opportunity to think about that a lot, and I always do, but being here the last couple of days, bringing it back right in your face, and it's not because of, of the time I did it back 35 years ago, it's what has transpired this year and, and what's going to be going on on Super Bowl Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's the two young guys that's, that are just so happen to be two quarterbacks from each team of color, and this is the first time this has ever happened. Historically, it's, it's a moment that I think we all should embrace and enjoy it and say to ourselves, now we got that out the way, let's work on other issues. Whoever wins uh, will be just the fourth black quarterback to win a Super Bowl, which is really kind of outstanding when you think about that. So what is the significance of this? The significance is the fact that they both are playing in it. It's for the championship and it's unfortunate. Somebody has to win. You mm -hmm. can't end in a tie. And whoever that's going to be, you know, you got to say congratulations to them. And you want to say, you know, just hang in there, maybe next time. And, and those are the words that you got to say, congratulations, uh, winning next time. And I think that's what we are. But I think we all should embrace this while we got it. This is the first time it's going to happen. It ain't going to happen anymore. It's the first time and the last time that we would have mm -hmm. two African-American quarterbacks play for the first time. You've seen since the day that you won it in Super Bowl 22 how much the game has progressed uh, to where we are to today. Um, but still we have strides to go. What more do you want to see? Well, what I would like to see, you know, along with these two young guys playing the Super Bowl, you'd like to see more quarterback coaches of color. You'd like to see more offensive coordinators of color. And ain't no way in the world we shouldn't have more head coaches of color. I think that's one of the biggest black guys as a whole that we have on the league now is the fact that you got so many guys out there that has the credentials, that are ready to roll, but don't get the chance. It's kind of like, you know, when you talk about the quarterback, back in the day, we, I mean, we're 35 years in since I won it. But just think about how old this league is. Mm -hmm. It's over 100 years old. So what happened to those guys before I won it? They was denied that opportunity. And that's what we're trying to get, get past. Uh, guys that need an opportunity that's being denied, Give them a chance. I mean, so many other guys that have had opportunities and some of them have been recycled. There's a lot of good coaches out there that of color that deserve an opportunity. What is the best advice you could give Jalen or Mahomes? Wow, that's a good one. I think this week, you know, it's not, it's not any best advice because you look at it, they both made it here to the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. uh, I think at the end of the day, you, you just got to say, Hey guys, both to both of them, job well done. And I think that's the only thing you can say at this point. I really thought you were going to say, make sure you eat a full bag of Hershey's, Hershey's kisses, kisses before the game. I they, thought that is where you were going to go with they this. They probably don't eat me sweets. <laughs> I said I just was a diehard sweet eater at that time. No, but if, if I'm sure if they think it'll help them. They would call me and send me a bag of Hershey's. <laughs> uh, look, Jalen Hurts was dealing with injury. Pat Mahomes dealing with a high ankle sprain. You were dealing with a root canal. So this just goes to show the toughness of the quarterback position heading into Super Bowls. Yeah, uh, it's a position you got to be tough mentally 
and physically. <laughs> right. And sweet enough. Thank you, yeah, Doug. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Doug is definitely a legend in Washington, and of course, for good reason. Take a look at the numbers, just a snapshot here uh, of what he put up during his career. It is incredibly impressive. So, of course, we love him in the DMV, and of course, that Super Bowl ring doesn't hurt his elite status either. Of course, we all love Doug, and he has a great influence on all of us out at Commander's Park. Now, we're getting closer and closer to Super Bowl 57 right here at State Farm Stadium. It has been a fun week on Radio Row. Now we saw current and former NFL greats, celebrities, professional wrestlers, and even a fake Andy Reid. I had the chance to catch up with some of those in attendance to talk about the big game and, of course, the commander, starting with a former commander and DMV native. A favorite for all the Washington fans out there. Vernon Davis, 14 years in the league, but, of course, four with Washington. And here you are out at the Super Bowl. You've been to a few of these before as a player. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have. Um, I lost in Super Bowl 47. We lost in Super Bowl 50. We won in Denver. Yeah, against Ron yeah. Rivera. Exactly. <laughs> I, I just had to mention No, that. we won against Ron Rivera. Yeah, no, that's what I said. You oh, won yeah. against Ron oh, Rivera. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's uh, right. That's okay. He's, we're working our way back from yeah. Washington <laughs> to get back there. What is it like for you on this side of it then? Uh, being on this side is... Uh, is it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to go from when you transition from being that that player to all, all of a sudden you're hanging out with people like yourself and the coaches and you're doing business and you have your your things that you're passionate about. It's it's pretty amazing. Uh, to be able to get to the Super Bowl, you have to have pretty much everything working right. Uh, Washington's defense pretty legit. Yeah. Their offense has weapons. Looking for an offensive coordinator, like what is it? What would it be like for a coach to come in with the weapons that Washington has to be able to kind of flip this thing? Well, I think any, any anyone who walks into a team and they already have weapons, mm -hmm. it makes it so it, – it's it's much better to, to have that because now you just build around them, mm -hmm. around the guys you have. And we're talking about Washington. I mean, the guys that we have. I mean, our receiving core uh, defensively with, with Jonathan Allen um, and Terry McLaurin, speaking of him, he's so underrated to me. I mean, I don't think he gets the respect that he deserves. Some of the catches that he made this mm -hmm. season over his, bending his back is – I mean, that's difficult. So when you have that, I mean, as an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator, I'm excited all around. I'm excited. Uh, we're looking forward to it. And, of course, I mean, this is the ultimate goal to get to right here today. As a player, though, where they're not working Radio Row, you know, and, and to be able to actually play in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, you're here and you're also doing a fun side of this. What, you're roasting somebody tonight? What is this? Roast and toast. What is that? Roast and toast is um, – it's more about like it's good. It's not. It's not necessarily. We don't want to make people feel bad. We don't want to just roast them. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so fun. we want to have fun. fun, open, loose. There's some jokes in there. Uh, some quirky. Some. Some that'll make you laugh. Some you you probably won't laugh. But yeah. it's gonna be a good time. A great group of guys, legends. Um, it's gonna be amazing. So could I you could you, you roast me right now? I, no, Julie, I can't roast you, Julie. Come on, who can roast you? Come on, Julie. No one right, can roast gotta you. Be, there's got to be something out there. No, nah, there's nothing. Do you I get into Super Bowl predictions? I do uh, a little bit. It's tough. I mean, you, you have a team, like, you have two great teams going into the Super Bowl. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, you have Hurts. I mean, these are, we're talking amazing quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Quarterbacks you need to make it to this level. What is it about Pat Mahomes and Jalen Hurts, the first two black quarterbacks to face off against each other, that makes them so dynamic? They're 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 incredible. They can do everything. I mean, we see we saw what Patrick we see we know what Patrick Mahomes can do. Uh, we we've seen that year over year. Uh, his ability to to throw the ball, um, run the ball, and just I mean, he can he can close he can throw the ball with his eyes closed. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. And, Jay, and Hurts is just. His progression as a quarterback, I saw him when he first came in. I, I was like, ah, I don't know about this guy. But now, I mean, we, he, he found something. I don't know how he found it, but he's unbelievable. It's going to be a good showdown. It's going to be a good to showdown. It's hard to make predictions it is because hard. both teams are so strong. It is hard. We predict that you're going to be an all-star at this roast. Uh, I will finish with a roast. Yams. What is it? <laughs> Sweet potato yams. Sweet potato yams. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Thank you, Vernon. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Sean Merriman, a D.C. native, but yeah. you've made your way around the league, of course, still going eight years in the NFL. A couple of those seasons spent with head coach Ron Rivera, of course, wasn't the head coach then with the Chargers, but you had a little familiarity with him. Uh, 
Tell us, what do you make of what Rom so far, what he's trying to build in D.C.? I mean, we just had five guys at the Pro Bowl, a pretty good foundation, but not quite where they want to be yet. Yeah, I think, um, you know, starting out when I, when I saw him first get a head coaching job, I was just happy for him because um, – I was talking to him through those interview processes. Yeah. And, I'm, you know, my, in my head, when, you, when you're when you in it, right, and you see the type of person he is and the type of coach he is, you're like, this is a no-brainer. He's getting a head coaching job. So when he went on a visit and didn't get a head coaching job, I'm like, no, something, you know, no, something's going mm-hmm. on. And so I'm really happy for him. But more importantly, um, he, he's just a great leader. And I've always, you know, was pretty close with him because he's, he'll tell it like it is. He'll tell you straight up. And he'll also he'll he'll be stern when he has to, and he's also a player coach at the same time. So I'm really happy for him. I'm not surprised that they have you know four or five pro, pro bowlers there, but I do believe that you know just knowing Ron and being around him for those years that he's gonna he's gonna eventually have things turned around there. Yeah, we talk about how close this team really is, and you look at what the defense did, the playmakers that they have on offense. Obviously, looking for an offensive coordinator. What would you say is that one thing that's kind of missing to really kind of get them over that home? I think it's a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a quarterback. Um, when you have, you know, those type of players you have with all those pro bowlers, that defensive line, I mean, I, 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 sometimes I can't even watch the game. I just watch those front four guys and Chase Young and Sweat um, and those guys get, get it done up there. You need a quarterback in this league. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have a quarterback, it's only but so far you're going to go. And, and they're right at that point with a, with a great quarterback. If they can find their franchise guy, they're going to run the tables in that division for a long time. Predictions for this weekend. We have, you talk about the quarterbacks, you have Pat Mahomes, you have Jalen Hurts, two of the best in the game. I, where, where is this game won? On that defensive line, yeah. you know, for, for well, Philly. Well, they both can get after the QB, they, they but both, man, they those both QBs can get after. easy to get too. Yeah, they, they both can get after it. Uh, last week, I went against Patrick Mahomes. Oh, yeah. I, I made a mistake. I went against him, but I thought that he just wasn't healthy enough. And I've had that high ankle sprain, high ankle sprain injury where I was walking around in a walking boot for a week and a half, and I couldn't walk, and I didn't run to the second week. So I thought there's no way he's going to have some success, and there was a way. He found a way. The only difference is he wasn't playing the best team in football. Mm-hmm. I mean, Philly is so stacked at every position. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look at that team, you're like, okay, where's that weakness? Let me find the guy there. It's hard to. It's hard to because they're, they're so stacked. they got Hall of Famers and Pro Bowlers coming off the bench on that D-line, uh, which is unheard of. And so uh, for that reason, I have to go to the Eagles this week. Do you know the only team to defeat Jalen Hurts this season? Yeah, Commanders. Yeah. For more from our coverage here at the Super Bowl, do not miss our flagship show, Command Center. You can see every episode on our YouTube channel and on commanders.com. You can also check us out on NBC Sports Washington weekdays at 5 and 10 p.m. Now keep it here because when we come back, I'm heading into the NFL experience to check out all the cool activities and games that they have set up for fans to enjoy in the lead up to the big game. Luckily, didn't wear my high heels for this segment. Command Center Pro Bowl is presented by Safeway, the official supermarket of the Washington Commanders. From selecting the perfect produce and triple checking its quality to preparing it for you. We have perfected the art of fresh. When safe drivers save up to 30% on their auto insurance for not answering their phone while driving, they feel like a pretty big deal. Did you get the ice? Even if they forgot the ice. Uh, huh. Save up to 30% on auto insurance with USAA Safe Pilot. Get a quote today. Command Center Super Bowl is presented by Safeway, the official supermarket of the Washington Commanders. And welcome back in. We are at the NFL Experience here with our Fan of the Year, Hog Farmer Chris. And we're going to see if either of us have what it takes uh, to be one of the guys playing on Sunday. All right, let's do it. This is all respect for being Fan of the Year. You go first. Ready? Go. Go. No. No. Bullseye. Go. Where we go? Touch him, touch him. 
got a lot no. to live up to no. already. No. Woo! Look at him go. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's our guy. Come on and do your celebration dance. You got the gritty? Dance. You got the gritty? I'm not <laughs> <laughs> yep, your turn. That green is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Let's go, Julie. That Smoke counts? Okay. <laughs> She's smoking it. Oh. Three for three almost. <laughs> yeah, she definitely beat my time. That's how you do it. I got ice. Are we good now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, well, well, thank you. <laughs> you needed me as the holder. That's what would have been the difference. That should have been the holder for you. That's a lot harder than I expected. One, two, yeah, three. She's smoke I don't know that that will matter, but I think that's what they do. Okay. <laughs> Why that? No extra point. <laughs> Alright. Go a little dirt. Come on, the hole of the wall. Oh! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I lost my shoe. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Let's go! <laughs> that was awesome! Yeah. Joey Slot, Joey Slot, I've been watching you, man. I've been watching you, Joey. <laughs> I tried to get 20. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Look at that spiral. Now over here. JJ White, I'm going for you. Oh! Now all the way down. Ah, ah. One more, one more. Ah! <laughs> Not bad, not bad, not bad. I mean, I, I like the spiral. <laughs> yeah, not bad. That one is down there. Yeah, I mean, way down there. Way down. Oh, okay. Oh! I kind of got robbed on that one. That was like in and out. Does it count? Does that count? Yeah, that one no? is pretty far down there. Yeah. Oh, that was on, that was on him. It was a drop. It was a drop, okay. Oh, no, I was about to take out Maddie. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Come on, Julie. Don't let him stand you up. See? He caught it. <laughs> that was that was the whole goal. That was the goal. One more. One more. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Just like five, five tries. That's all it took. Maybe six. Who's counting? Who's keeping score? Oh, that's what we do in this game. We keep score. Are you ready? Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, all right, one more. Can I get it? Oh. Oh, come on. There you go. Boom. All three. Are we oh. All three. Well, <laughs> eight to the nine. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Okay, okay. It wasn't pretty, but it okay. counts, right? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we nice. go. <laughs> Wait. Let's see what you got. <laughs> How does it go? Just... Give me Show me, show me. Show me. Right, right, right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're going in, is yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs>
Where's our, where's our set guy? You're calling it. Yeah, you gotta call it. bringing you coverage over the past few weeks from Las Vegas and the Pro Bowl to right here in Phoenix at the Super Bowl. Now, if you ask me, I think this is going home with myself over hog farmer Chris. But you know what? Either way, Washington was well represented over the past few weeks. Now, we will have a new show for you on Command Center with all the highlights and action from Super Bowl 57 tomorrow. That does it from here. I'm Julie Donaldson. Thanks for joining us.